Good morning, Gators. Welcome to this week's segment of Gator Vision. I'm Charlie. And I'm Savannah. This week on Gator Vision, we get to see what the weather is going to be like. We get to look into the sports teams. We get to see what's going on with the Jag lawsuit. We get to make spooky sticks. And we play a little game with the students and teachers here at Delta. Now here's Clayton with the weather. Thanks, Charlie. This week is going to be a fairly sunny week. Tomorrow is going to have a few showers with cloudy skies. The high is 67 and the chance of rain is 20%. On Sunday, it's partly cloudy. The high is 62. Monday is sunny with a high of 72. Tuesday is sunny with a high of 76. Wednesday, sunny sky with a high of 77. Great, here's Lainey with some sports. Cross Country had a home meet on Monday, September 28th, and a meet at Paul Kinder on Thursday, October 1st. Good job, Cross Country. The volleyball team went undefeated on Wednesday against Grand Valley. B team won 25 to 19 and 25 to 20. A team won 25 to 19 and 15 to 8. Outstanding job, girls. B team has a tournament this weekend at Antioch. The football team had a home game this week against Grand Valley Middle School. Sadly, both teams lost. Good luck next time. I'm Lainey Vaughn for Gator Vision. Now to Malik with City State Nation. Hey Gators, let me fill you in on some of the things going on right now in our city, state, and nation. Now Jackson County is being sued by the Blue Springs School District for not giving them permission to have more than 100 seats at games. As you may know, the governor of Missouri has contracted corona, so make sure to wash your hands and keep your hands to yourself. And with national news, eight Tennessee Titans players test positive for COVID-19, and the Steelers-Titans game has been postponed. I'll see what Michael has planned for us with some how-to baking. Today we are going to be making spooky steaks. What you will need for these are pretzel rods, chocolate chips, and Halloween sprinkles, which are optional. For step one, you are going to take your chocolate chips and microwave them for about 30 seconds, stirring in between. For step two, you only want to coat your pretzel rod about three-fourths of the way up so you can hold the ends of it to put on your tray. Now that the pretzel rod is coated, you want to lay it on a tray covered in parchment paper. While the chocolate is still melted, add your sprinkles and set them out for the chocolate to harden. This step should only take about an hour. You can also put them in the fridge. Last step, enjoy your spooky sticks. I'm Caleb Garrett for Gator Vision. Now some Chiefs trivia. Who did the Chiefs beat in their first Super Bowl win? Uh, uh, Green Bay Packers? Yeah. And their first Super Bowl, they played the Packers but lost, but their first Super Bowl win was against the Vikings. What was the original name of the Kansas City Chiefs? Wasn't it something like Titan? I don't know. Ah. What was the original name for the Kansas City Chiefs? The original name for the Kansas City Chiefs was the Texans. Good job. I'm Rebecca Gabriel for Gator Vision. Have a good weekend, Gators. See, See you, you next time. time.